Also in Washington, a lot of anticipation, you know, for President Trump's tax plan. House Republicans are expected to unveil their version sometime today, but it's still causing a lot of debate. And our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, has more. She's there on Capitol Hill. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Robin. Well, today is the day House Republicans are finally set to unveil that long-awaited tax bill. Republicans admit this is do or die for them politically, but they're already off to a bit of a rocky start. After delaying the original rollout, they spent yesterday up here in intense negotiations scrambling to strike a deal. So here are the key compromises right now. Your 401k. The president had promised not to touch these retirement accounts and that he would keep maximum contributions at $18,000 a year. But some Republicans wanted to lower that to just $2,400. Now it seems the president is going to have to meet them somewhere in the middle. Also at stake, popular state and local tax deductions. Those were on the chopping block, but Republicans put up a fight, Robin, to keep at least some of these deductions. An ambitious timeline here. Do they really think they can get something done before the Thanksgiving break? Well, Robin, the House has just 10 working days left before the holiday, and Republican leaders insist this is still doable, but other Republicans I've talked with, well, they're not so optimistic. Mm. Remember, the last time Congress passed a major tax overhaul like this, Robin, it took them roughly two years. We do remember that. All right, Mary, thank you.